Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, and I'm actually just heading out the door for school. It's about 7, and I usually leave at like 7.15 because I have an 8 a.m. class on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I have to get going soon. But first, I need to make some breakfast, and I kind of wanted to show you what I usually make. Um, I've been loving this new shake. It's like I use... Um, it's like strawberry banana and chocolate so i want to show you what i'll put in it so i usually just use one banana these um dull frozen strawberries i love these because you can keep them for a long time and then just the chocolate protein powder so i just usually put the protein powder in here and blend it or i just shake it up and then i'll blend up the strawberry uh, banana strawberry and some ice and i don't know i really love it it tastes really good i usually like the um the chocolate banana and peanut butter one but I've been loving this strawberry one <laughs> not like a ton going on today I just have class um, and then after I'm gonna actually hang out with my sister and I'm finally getting my roots touched up so she's gonna be doing my hair after school but that's pretty much it um, just a normal school day it's <laughs> not that exciting but I actually have to head out the door because I am probably gonna be late <laughs> to Eloise's channel she yes. makes videos too <laughs> go subscribe to my channel and don't forget the upcoming mukbang between me and Beth. it's gonna be great we're gonna get subway <laughs> okay subway yes <laughs> yes bye, bye okay so it's been a while it's about 3 30 now I'm finally done with school um, and I'm headed to my hair appointment I'm very excited to see my sister it's like I get to the point where I like miss her because I haven't seen her in like a week. I know that's not that long, but I definitely miss her. But um, I guess while I have a second and while I remembered it, I kind of wanted to give like a little mini update on like the status of Al's injury. Um, so he had surgery on January 10th. Today is February 28th on his knee and that went really good. Like I think I updated that in my one of my videos that it went really really well which is great um he is bearing weight now in therapy so that's awesome and he actually went back to work so he's doing a lot better on it um next month he's gonna need his last surgery hopefully with this and that's just on his acl but other than that um he has been doing really really well with it um in therapy it's just cool he'll send me like snapchats of the stuff that he's doing and it's really really cool to see him like getting better and getting stronger and also just keeping his spirits high so I just wanted to give like a little quick update on that um, that's basically been it but it's been really really good and um, I just it makes me so happy that he's that he's getting better so um, thank you for thinking of us if you are and um, I know a lot of people said that they were praying for us so thank you so much I just wanted to give that little update
Brandy. <laughs> Did you miss me? Okay, I'm back home now. It's about 7 p.m. And you guys probably saw I got my hair done. I swear there's nothing better than like the feeling you get right after you get your hair done. I did get it cut too. It really doesn't look that much shorter, which is a good thing, but I got a healthy trim. So now I'm home. I put on some relaxing clothing and I also had to stop at this place called Moe's. Um, it's right by where my sister's salon is and it is such a good place. It's like a Southwest grill. In my opinion, their burrito bowls are better than Chipotle and Qdoba. And look at how big they are too. This is like two meals. I'll probably eat half of this for lunch tomorrow, but it is the best place ever. So I'm just gonna relax and eat some dinner. And then I'm probably gonna put together, um, at least pack up everything for the St. Patrick's Day care package, which I will show you guys after I get done eating. Okay, I'm gonna be packing up the package. So first, here's the package that I'm sending. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it, but it says, your love is worth more than a pot of gold. I just thought this one was really cute and it fits St. Patrick's Day really, really well. So the bottom is like this gold paper. It's kind of supposed to be like a pot of gold, but I thought it was cute and I think he'll like it. But um, then this is what I'm gonna be putting in it. So the first thing, I don't even know if he likes Lucky Charms, but I really don't care because they're perfect for St. Patrick's Day. And I thought it might help that they're the Frosted Flake kind because I think he likes Frosted Flakes. Um, then again, I'm not really sure. And if you find that weird, um, we don't live together. So I'm not really sure what he likes to eat for cereal. I mean, it's not really something we talk about a lot, so maybe he'll like it. But then I had to get him Rolos because whenever I think of St. Patrick's Day, I always think of these Rolo candy because they look like little gold pieces. So I'm gonna put those in there as well. And then he asked for some gum, so I'm gonna send him some a three pack of gum. And then peanuts, because you can't go wrong. These, he loves wheat thins, so I thought I would try the ranch flavored. I buy these, and I think they're good, but let's see if he likes them. And then um, I got him some drink mixes, some raspberry iced tea. I thought he might like to put these in his water. And popcorn, this is, um, I have the box still here. Let me see. It's the Healthy Pop 100s. Might be like 100 calories or something. Okay, so 110 calories. But anyways, I know he loves popcorn. It's something easy for him to make. And then I got him two cans of soup. The first one is chili mac, and the next one is baked potato with steak and cheese. I thought those both sounded really good, and he loves making soup as well. And then these, I'm gonna see if he likes. So they're um, just granola bars, but they're like banana with peanut butter, which might sound gross to some people, but he loves peanut butter banana sandwiches, so he might really like these, I'm not sure. Um, again, he appreciates what I send him and he likes trying new things So we'll see if he likes some of this stuff and then these are just like meals that you can just put in the microwave So I got him a chili with beans and uh, Dumplings and chicken. So I'm gonna be sending that So in addition to all of this stuff, I'm actually gonna be making a treat for him for st. Patrick's Day I found the idea online. I figured it might just be easier to show you um, rather than me trying to explain it, but they're like these shamrock pretzels. So you just take pretzels and you um, put like the green frosting on them and then you put them in the fridge to like mold them together. I thought they were really, really cute. So I'm actually gonna try to do this. And I thought I would do it on camera just in case I have any questions about like, how did I make that? And I have, I filmed it. Um, this might be a total fail, so <laughs> hopefully it's not. But I'll show you the ingredients I got for it. They're over here. So I got the pretzels, um, and then I got the white chocolate that I'm gonna be melting, and I have food coloring, of course, green food coloring. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna follow the recipe and we'll see how this goes. I hope it turns out good.
are done. They don't look as cute as the picture does, but I actually think they turned out good. Some of them have a little bit too much chocolate on them, but you can tell what they are, and I think they're really cute, and I did try one. They taste very good. I just made a little card too so it just says happy st patrick's day boo on it and it should fold up pretty good but it's gonna be sent off tomorrow i'll probably send it off tomorrow morning before school okay i'm gonna be ending the vlog for the night i have quite a bit of homework to do before i go to bed it's already like nine i think yeah it's already nine so i'm gonna be up probably for another hour but um Thank you for watching today. Um, something really exciting actually that I wanted to say is hopefully that when you're watching this you will notice that there isn't a black box around my video like there is for all my other videos. It was super annoying but I think I finally figured out how to edit my videos and export them without getting the black box. I edit in Premiere Pro by the way if anybody was wondering and I love it. I just was, I was so frustrated with why I couldn't figure it out but I think I finally got it so hopefully when you're watching this it will be a full screen video um but i think that's about it um if you like my videos please subscribe i love just making some daily videos or um you know special videos just filming my life and filming the things that i go through and if anybody can relate or if these videos help anybody then i'm happy to do that otherwise they're just memories for me as well so that's basically it, but if you like it, then feel free to subscribe, and I think that's about it, but I don't know what I'm going to film next. However, I am going to North Carolina in like two weeks, so expect a lot of fun videos for then, but other than that, I'm going to go to bed, and I hope everybody has a great day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Be the lucky one with the Hollywood, Hollywood